Would you look at that, peoples? I never actually do quit projects. What's up, peoples? It's a terraformer playing a Super Mario thing. And this level is after the shell by Dark Boo. That's a pretty good level. It's kind of one of those levels also by Dark Boo, I think, was the other level that was made by him that was referring to a VIP 4 level. But, you know, it, it does its thing, and it's pretty cool for what it does, I suppose. There's a section that I don't actually show off, you can, like, go up there and just go, but if you go to the right up there, there's nothing up there. You just lose time and probably will lose the run, so it, it's very important to just not. As you can see, I inch my way forward there, being very cautious, and you'll see why eventually. So, I, yeah, doing a different little editing style, and even different than the last time I made a video with this. I don't know, I just, I don't really feel... Well, first of all, I don't want to... I'm not going to be uploading this very consistently, honestly. And second of all, I, I don't feel... Like, when I played these levels, I expected to have more trouble with them, with the exception of one of them. And, I don't know, I just feel like this project would be best <laughs> just left for post-commentary. I can give my little opinions on things. I, I wish I did this section legitimately, but instead it was the first time I got here and <laughs> just kind of cheeseballed it by taking the opportunity of using the opportune. I can just go ahead and kill the enemies, but... Yeah, at the same time, it'd be pretty tricky if you couldn't do that. For some reason, I thought that shell came up and, um, killed you, but I guess not. There's structures up there, but it doesn't seem like you can actually get up there, and that's too bad. The second half, I thought, I definitely thought I was gonna have more trouble with this, but I didn't. It was actually pretty, pretty fun. And, yeah, because I have played these levels in the past, I just was not playing them legitimately. I got to about World 6-ish for specific reasons, which I'll get to when I get there. And we'll see if I could do specific reasons again, but, you know, I've spent plenty of time doing that, and I, I haven't in a long time. And, yeah, the you can just slide that. The literally no challenge whatsoever but I I died so many times to that those spinies because I didn't think just just press the down button it's not really that hard but you know my life's counter is kind of inflated I don't know why but it's inflated and that's the story I'm going by the color crave cave by anime rules and uh, it's just kind of here. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I, it's not very memorable. <laughs> and they have this section, which just feels very cheap in a way. I never even tried getting that box. I guess I could have done. Well, I could have just used a shell, or I could fancily got with a potaboo and that the. the the Rao coin is just kind of hanging in a precarious position, and you know, there's already a Rao coin run of this by Pink Kitty Rose, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, which you might be if you're viewing my videos, then you, you might want to check that out, because, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> opinions stated. And, um, yeah, I was trying to see if I could do a little thing here, but I couldn't. And I was slightly disappointed, but at the same time, I would have had to start the run over, because I only do legitimate things here, because that's... I, I don't know how that worked out, but I made it alright. Yep, yep. That, that really looks good, man. You, you really put a lot of effort and put... Uh, there. I've done it before, so hopefully you'll notice the the blatant sarcasm with that type. And I got really like, it, why? <laughs> why does the pipe send you after that point? 
it just it just seemed kind of strange, but I guess it, like levels do that where they send you past the point of places. I wonder if there's anything in that hole. I I wondered that when I was recording this, and I n never checked, so I guess I didn't wonder hard enough. This is a pretty interesting setup. But it could probably glitch you out pretty easily. That jump's pretty cool. I, I like that jump. So this level, it's kind of there, but also it's not like a bad level. It's not like it's just kind of there, but it's just kind of... Well, I, I won't use words that kind of don't accurately describe it. And here's kind of the puzzle section, which, you know, it's Super Mario World hack puzzle section. It's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas, but that's not even the proper time etiquette. But, yeah, I do a hop on it twice, but you can only do a low hop. This hack relies heavily on grabbing items and bringing them places, but the, the same can be said about Super Mario World Central Production. It's something they both have in common, which is quite fascinating. And I think you could just go through there, but it'd be risky. I mean, I have the cape. I can do it. I can really break the level. So, um... Yeah, just trying to make this as viewable as possible, so I just kind of, <laughs> I futz about here. I'm like, I don't know how to do items in Super Mario World. I don't, like really, is it that challenging to do this? <laughs> I even get confused here, which is why it's still fast forwarded. And see, so my other still confusing on lose both powers. Good job. Good job, but that place was just kind of a, an alternate path. You can't really do much. It's only for the dragon coin, the rail coin. It's kind of hard to keep up with these different types of coins, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, so how's that A2MT coming? Yeah, that that was something. Um, Anonymous Bloodlust asked me to test his last final level thing one time like months ago and it was kind of hard like uh, beyond something I would be reasonably able to do within eight hours <laughs> <laughs> panic in the outhouse by argumentable is there really no- oh yeah, there- or no, it's not Argumentable, it's Dark Boo. I thought Argumentable had two levels in this world and this was his other level, but it's Dark Boo that has- uh, This level is very unfortunate. It's played with really good music and some really bad design choices. <laughs> ah, let's get into it. Th this jump is kinda not hard, but considering you're gonna be- a kind of rushity with the generator. Eh, I don't agree with it. I like the I like the mini bullet bills, but it doesn't make up for it, I suppose. Um the real culprit comes with the secret exit, which we're not even there yet. And the real culprit comes with the second half, and we're not even there yet. Yeah, this path isn't even that bad. So it just kinda happens. I, I was kind of hoping I made that duck for the winning run, but whatever. It's like the same exact thing I did on my first run. I really learned well. The section right here I don't like for that you... I mean, you could probably make it faster, but it feels like you gotta wait and then wait immediately after. I just don't feel comfortable about that. And here, it, it's kind of just the random bullets can get in your face in ways. Ah, that's a nice blind jump, and usually that piece which does not spawn. It's pretty, pretty sucky when you're trying to get the secret exit and you don't know how to manipulate it good. Yeah, here's just take it slow. You don't you don't do much. You, I guess there's a way that you could actually rush this, but the sheer amount of homing bills 
it's just unnecessary. Like, even when you're moving slow, you could risk having two come at you. And yeah, I mean, at least it's not requiring you to bounce on them to make one tile jumps and ice physics, but still. So this is what I did before that episode. That's why I was angrier quicker or something. That's not even a good excuse, though, because I've done it before, and I will probably do it again, especially in the recording that I've refused to edit because it's two hours and it's rendering right now. Why is it rendering right now while I'm making a video? Gah. <laughs> so hopefully that won't cause delay and confusion and whatnot, if you get that reference, obviously. A small child lives with you, or has done, or you just have a really strong memory, like I sometimes do, depending on what it is and the length of time which has occurred. Yeah, I, I stopped having stuff to talk about in this level, can you tell? It has redrawn graphics, can you tell? At least there's Demo Sprite with their one gray hair or something like that. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. I want to like this hack so much more. I even like that little ending thing. It's so unnecessary, but it's cool. It's cool unnecessary. But, I don't know. Like, a lot of this hack is just... <laughs> oh, man. It's... It's... It's a hack. It's a collaborative hack that should have went through the ringer a little bit more testing wise and I hope they don't make the same mistake for A2 and MT I almost said MDX but I have no idea how that's even progressing because I I wish I did more better about being participative in that I had the ideas I just stopped noticing and stopped doing things I don't know. I, like, I got to maggle it up. Yes, I still haven't started it. Yeah, that's... It's funny, because I got the email today, the message email from the talk house. And it's like, if you haven't started it yet, well, y you could still start now. And it's like, you read my mind. And this section's dumb, because no power-ups. Like, why? There, there's totally no reason at all for it to not have power-ups, and it's too block-based for all that. I should have fast-forwarded this, I futz about a bit, and I probably would have died there if that didn't despawn because of the amount of clutter going on. And that, that does happen, it's not very common, but it did happen to me a few times where a bullet would just invisible itself, and I think I only got hit once, and this is wonderful when <laughs> things, like, only- and I- I talk about sprite limitation right when it's occurring, but I guess I meant just invisible stuff, which is pretty much- no, it's not, because those were just not spawning completely. Yeah, that secret exit sucked. Uh, that's all I have to say about it. I apologize for the rudeness and the bluntness, but- that's my honest opinion, and I don't think anyone will really harshly disagree with me. Night of the Living Chuckles. Um, yeah, so immediately you get to vanquish this guy, and it's pretty neat, because then you go in, and it's like, oh, hey, he's, he's undead and skeleton and stuff. The music from Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which is really sad because zombies are bad, and uh, really, let's just go on a tirade of zombies in the medias. They're really like an allegory for us, like a mob, and this is going way, way too deep, and I'm trying to keep up above in my head instead of going under again. But, yeah, it's it's an allegory for us common folk, and it's quite sad, and it's quite common, and it's quite popular, and it's quite sad that I do indeed, in fact, like The Walking Dead. But other than that, it's just like, oh man, another zombie movie, and you roll your eyes. Th this stage is actually pretty good, um, for the most part. Like, I don't know why it's World 5, an argument level had a World 4 level that was utterly, utterly, but for the most part, is it has two hiccups, 
that I will address shortly, but so far it's like all stuff that you can get through on your first try, which I did mostly, not particularly, I, I don't remember where I died the first time, but I remember getting, I think the second try was when I got to the boss. Oh, spoilers as a boss. I shouldn't have said that. That was totally rude of me. Oh, hey, cobwebs. It's Xeno Gears and you can collect them. What? <laughs> Why does it not work on my PS1? Cries. It was clean, too. Only on the PS2. That's not where the save is if I have one. Yeah, that's how my post commentary goes, though. I'll just talk about anything once I start getting into the mix and into the. Group, no, don't even start, start, um, start persons from Star Trek's real name singing songs. Yeah, that section right there, I don't like it. I, don't, I never found a way to get past it without taking damage in this boss also. I don't even remember, I might get past it without taking damage. I highly, no, never mind. Yeah, it's, it's a good concept it's just by the time it gets rid of most of the time i mean these are falling pretty quick but you also gotta time it with the chuckles going around which i like the it's a chuckles that's a neat touch too but by the time it falls the the, the mini uh, mini yoshi there it kind of might probably kill you so here is the outtake section of the thing. I don't really have a good intro for it yet, but I might figure something out. So pretty much I show the first death, and then I show or the only death, and then I show subsequent interesting or deep in-depths, which for, is the case for the Land of Confusion, aka the Outhouse area i show probably too many of them but whatever and there was only three from the return trip which we aren't even there yet but there now we're here because <laughs> you know when you have too short of video files on the movie maker kind of doesn't load correctly it's not even loading the fast forwarding section which is bad because this is going to delay the heck out of it so I'm probably going to just leave it here with my commentary so I don't go over and there's a black screen of me talking. Or maybe you'd like that. I don't know. See you guys next time. Opinions on the new, well, the style for this series at the very least. Maybe even Super Mario World Central doing like this.